do you care? Do you really care if the hole is in the front or the hole is in the back? I'm talking about ported speakers, holes, ports. You know, my name, oh, my name is Steve Guttenberg. I am the Audiophiliac. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. You know, I started thinking about this when uh, I reviewed the, the second generation ELAC debut B6.2. The port is in the front. It's skinnier and taller. And the original B6 is squatter, no room for the port in the front, so the port was in the back. More recently, I reviewed the um, B&W 606 stand mount speaker, and that has the port in the back. And this, the model that it replaces is the B&W 685S2, which had the port in the front. So it seems like uh, speaker, man, speaker designers just put that port front, back, wherever it seems to work. I don't think they say, oh, you know, rear ports sound better than front ports or front ports sound better than rear ports. That seems to be an audio fascination of sorts, you know, like, well, if it's in the port, you'll be less likely to hear port turbulence and noise. Okay, uh, a little bit, I suppose. But, you know, it comes down to design and, of course, those little dimples on the BMW. I'm sure the ports, uh, the little dimples on the ports, they look, uh, you know, maybe they quiet those little farting, farting noise just a tad. No, but seriously, front ports, rear ports, people have this obsession about them. Now, yeah, 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 you could say that if the port's in the rear, you can't put the speaker as close to the wall. Well, you shouldn't put any speaker close to a wall, close meaning, let's say, less than 10 in 10 or 12 inches, right? So if you put a speaker with the port in the front near a wall, it isn't going to sound good. So when the port's in the front of the rear, this is not part of the equation. Port location is determined by aesthetics more than anything else. I mean, those are the two examples that I can just give you off the top of my head. The ELAC, original ELAC, had the port in the back. The new ELAC has the port in the front. The B&W 606, the new one has the port in the, in the back. And the old one, the 685S2, had the port in the front. There's no consistency there. Front, rear, whatever works, right? So chill, chill about this port location thing. Let this speaker designer design the speaker. You can buy the speaker, the one that you like, but obsessing about where that hole is. Forget about the hole. Think about the hole, the whole thing, you know, the, big, the bigger picture of what the speaker sounds like. Let the designing be done by the designers. Let the designers be designers. I think I'm done. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show.